Hot up, Capricorn. Okay, Cape. So, baby, I can see by the look in your eyes right here that you are trying to hold back that devil. Okay, that devil inside you that want to come out and destroy somebody, okay, who have just went ahead and pissed you off to the highest level of pissivity. Now, what you are doing is you're uh, just standing there looking at this person. You are hiding how you feel behind this flower on the side of your face because you don't want this person to know the exact amount of intensity behind this look here. Okay, you're not trying to blow a casket on them. So you just, what you're trying to do instead of releasing that damn devil is reflect Capricorn. Uh, you want to give each other some space at the moment and trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, Cappy. Because if you don't, you will completely obliterate this person who, uh, I don't know exactly what they did, Capricorn. Perhaps the reading will reveal that. But uh, this person know what they did with some BS too, okay? Here we have them right here uh, looking like they're trying to feel some type of remorse about what they did to you or what they said to you or what they did not do, okay? You may be upset about a person's lack of action. And this person is a grown person so they know what they're doing they know what they're not doing too and they know that you know that they know what they're doing and not doing so what they want to do is nurture the bonds of your friendship because it seems like you two are not that close as they want you to be in your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve once they feel that the friendship has been nurtured okay um However, my darling, I can see that you are firmly rooted and not moving an inch, okay, towards what the heck this person wants. As a matter of fact, back here it says, wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. So, Cap 8, you already know by standing still, remembering who you are, remembering where you are, and remembering who you're dealing with, that, uh... Karma will just get this person. There is absolutely no need for you to uh, blow a casket, release the devil, and tear this person to shreds, okay? There is no need for that. What you are doing is you are sitting back and allowing nature to take its course. Natural nature, which deals with karma, baby. And this person knows what they did is on some BS, so they don't want karma to come back and whoop that ass. But that's not any of your business or concern, Capricorn, now here we got the deck on Dark Mirror, baby. First card is Colorless Angel. So when Karma comes back and get this person who feels that they are so fine and that they are so GQ'd and you know what I'm saying, cocky and whatnot. After Karma hits them, is they going to be a colorless angel? As a matter of fact, the process has already begun. You can see this person declining. Okay, you can see how Karma is having an effect on this individual and how they're becoming this colorless angel and upset and not as fine and GQ'd and, uh, you know, full of life that they used to be. Here we got the parasite here. So this person knows that and what they need, they also know what they need to do, which is become the parasite, Capricorn. What is a parasite, love? A parasite is a is a thing that latches onto somebody like a leech, okay? It latches onto them and it sucks them dry. Okay, a parasite can also be something that enters into the body as some type of virus that, you know, just kills off everything. What this person wants to do is latch onto you like the leech and suck and kiss and lick all over your body from head to daggone toe, okay? They feel that if they all up and down your body that it's going to revive this colorless angel and bring back some type of color, even if it's just a red color, which represents passion, okay? They have, they're losing a lot of it, Capricorn. They're becoming this person right here in front of you, transforming right in front of you as an addicted person to you. 
This person is addicted to your body. They're addicted to having sex with you. They're addicted to licking you from head to toe, smacking on your ass and sucking all on your breasts and everything and being all deep inside of your body, Capricorn, okay? That's what this person is used to and that's what this person is now being, uh, you know, not that they're like they're being rejected they are not allowed to you're not allowing them to do that here is the moonology cards baby we got uh emotions are running high this is a super moon cappy okay so this person's emotions is running high they're being more emotional than you uh you know are used to them being capricorn this person wants you to surrender to the divine but you're uh idea of surrendering to the divine doesn't include this person uh sucking you from head to toe and draining you of your fluids okay trying to bring back some type of life to their own selves you surrendering to the divine was you uh reflecting and allowing space and nature to take its course between y'all okay you're not somebody who uh thinks that surrendering to the divine is them having their way now here we got communication is key New moon in Gemini. So this person came at you like they were a total different other person, okay? Like there was somebody who you didn't even know, okay? And then they want to act like uh, they're sorry, that they're regretful, and that they want to bring back the friendship. So evidently they came at you in a way that was not friendly, that was not as a friend, okay? Now let's go ahead and get the uh, Decameron Tarot. Let's see if we can get some more information about this whole situation, Cappy. This is your Storms of Passion love reading for the month of May 2021. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Love. And I think I did two or three. I'm just going to do one more shuffle. All right. I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot, Capricorn, and I want to get you some messages as to what in the world is going on between you and this other person. This is also storms of passion about what are they secretly not telling you, what is it that they're hiding from you, and uh, how do they secretly feel about you. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Okay, Cappy. Here is the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is telling me that somebody is not enjoying the sexual encounter, baby. It's like, and I'm feeling that that person is you. I'm feeling like you're dealing with somebody who thinks that they're just supposed to enter into the kitty, enter into the booty without any kind of, you know, preparation for you. They don't give oral sex, baby. They don't, uh, you know, be awakening every part of your body. They don't massage you. You know, it's like you don't enjoy the sexual encounter with this person and uh, sometimes you kind of feel defeated when you even have to have sex with this person. It's like they don't know how to take no for an answer. And because you're in a relationship with this person, you go ahead and let them have their way sometimes. But it's like you have reached a certain point where you don't want to deal with this anymore, Capricorn. It's like you're dealing with somebody who I don't feel is sexually satisfying you, okay? Instead of um, giving you a bunch of oral sex, and I'm not talking about when they are being a leech all up and down your body and then you go ahead and have climaxes because this person will give you a climax, but then they will just walk away. You know what I'm saying? They won't enter inside the kitty for you to, uh, you know, experience the other side of the sexual encounter. Instead, they will wait for another time and then come to you while you're laying on the bed and then they ace as so as you with this strong strong ass seduction with this hard ass uh you know wand that they have it's like this this phallus is very big capricorn is very big and it's very strong and it's like uh sometimes your body will go ahead and secrete its own fluids and you can enjoy the situation but you can enjoy the encounter uh, between you and this person, if they would at least massage your body, if they would at least give you all types of, you know, orgasms before you, before the encounter, before the, um, uh, what's it called? Enter course, you know, entering. Okay. Penetration. Okay. What else we got? 
we got the uh five of pentacles okay the five of pentacles is this person uh needing to learn how to satisfy their woman how to satisfy their man so you have even bought them books on the matter capricorn and it looked like this person was interested in reading them whenever you were put this person out in the cold and this this person was not able to go ahead and have all types of sexual encounters with you they decided to read the book or at least act like they were reading a book but i got the feeling that they were not really reading a book. I feel this person was just out there looking at the daggone pictures of somebody kitty and booty and wand and whatnot. That's what I feel. They wasn't reading exactly how to satisfy their partner sexually. Okay. Now let's get some more information on the five of uh, swords here. Okay. Here is the uh, queen of wands. Okay. Now the queen of wands is telling me Capricorn that you may have met somebody else. And this person right here knows damn well how to give you some oral sex, okay? And, you know, when you are with this person, you have some type of um, nervousness or fear that your person may come in and see y'all, okay? But it, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm feeling that you're dealing with somebody who knows how to awaken your body, who knows how to, you know, give you oral sex, who knows how to touch you. And, you know, for you to go ahead and experience, uh, you know, the full sensation of lovemaking. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more information here. Okay, we got these two cards. Yeah, yeah, Cappy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's like the three, uh, uh, the, the moon here, the moon here. Your person uh, doesn't know about this other person because whenever this other person, whenever your person comes home, you get this other person out the window here. Now, it looks like you two were enjoying yourself one day having all types of oral sex to each other, okay? That y'all were climaxing and everything, but you didn't get the option or the opportunity to be penetrated by this person because your person came home and you had to, you know, shoo them out the window, Capricorn or out the back door. Now here we got uh, the high priestess. The high priestess is uh, your person or you. It could be your person sitting up there when they come in the house. They take off all their clothes and expect for you to take off all your clothes and they just go ahead and enter inside of you. But uh capricorn this is you this is you you're the high priestess and you know that this is not a situation that you want to stay in you know that you need to get on up out of this situation and charge away with the uh knight of swords and where you're charging to is the person who knows how to satisfy you okay but your person seems to always stand in the way whenever you try to do something like that whenever you try to move towards another person or another direction your person stands in the way and act like you can't move or go anywhere okay mm. i don't feel that that's going to stop you capricorn because this person is not always around okay let's go ahead and get that uh ace of swords here mm. yeah okay Cappy. So, this person is, uh, you know, just giving you a very strong seduction, but without uh, awakening your body like a woman or a man's body is supposed to be awakened to the sexual encounter. The Seven of Swords makes you feel like this person is, uh, you know, taking something from you. Like the whole experience, or before you met this other person, you felt that way. You felt that this person was, you know, robbing you of having the, uh, the sexual encounter that you deserve to have as an adult male or adult female you want this person to be able to be and do what it is that they that another person should be able to do to awaken your body capricorn but we got the seven of swords here so that means this person comes at you with a very strong seduction and <laughs> this person can last for hours cappy they can last for hours and it would be so much more enjoyable that with the two of cups if this person knew how to get the juices flowing right you know this person wants you to be all up on top of them while they're that deep inside of you capricorn and you haven't even had an orgasm yet mm -mm. nah baby that's too much that's too much let's go ahead and get that five of uh, pentacles right here five of pentacles what well, we got five of pentacles here Mm. 
Okay, okay, this person trying to learn how to be an intimate friend tr with the uh, Knight of Chalices. Trying to learn how to pour the love onto you or get the juices flowing and whatnot. But they're trying to learn how to be an intimate friend, Capricorn. So, uh, like I said, they want to nurture the, the bonds of friendship in the relationship. So they're trying to learn how to be intimate or you need this person to learn how to be intimate. Or you are going to be leaving with your new friend, That was what this could be Sam, that you have a new friend who already knows the things in this book that your person is uh, acting like they're studying, but they're not, okay? What are the messages we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, baby, Five of Wands, okay? The new person which is competition for the old person, knows exactly what to do. First of all, they have wands instead of swords. This person can also last hours, baby. They may not be able to last as long as your person because it's a five of wands and theirs is a seven of swords, okay? But they do know how to passionately make love. They do know how to open you up they do know how to help you have a beautiful sexual encounter okay and that is something that you need it's like this person is out in the cold acting like they're reading up on how to satisfy you but they still are not doing it in the bedroom so they're not learning the lesson capricorn so i feel that you are leaving with your uh intimate friend or that you will be leaving with them you're not going to deal with this person who don't know how to satisfy you. Okay, Cappy? Now, let's go ahead and get you the love oracle cards, baby. First of all, yeah, mingle. You went to places that piqued your interest at social gatherings and you talked to meet new people. And that's where you met this person right here, baby. Who knows how, like I said, to awaken your body. Now, here we got missing you. Uh, so sad, lonely or alone, physical separation. Now it says uh, thinking of each other, okay? So it's like when you leave this person or when y'all separate the new person who you met, y'all be really missing each other. And that's the reason why you're feeling like you just want to go ahead and be with this person, baby. Because your person who is not satisfying you the way you need to be satisfied is dealing with money issues, okay? This person is, you be fighting over over money with them and then you need to heal your root chakra but this person doesn't know how to heal or help you heal the root chakra because they just enter inside the kitty and inside the booty not thinking that you know a person has to at least climax or orgasm you know what I'm saying it's just ridiculous there is a lack of trust lack of fear and safety of security survival control this person I think they rely upon you for their survival and their security but how how are they trying to control you too when they rely upon you for their own survival mm. golden mirror baby you dealing with a self-absorbed narcissist capricorn okay well then that makes sense the relationship is one-sided Love bombing. This person loves bombed you by being the daggone parasite and sucking and licking all over your body from top to bottom, okay? But other than that, the relationship is one-sided. They go ahead and experience their orgasm, but they don't make sure that you experience yours, baby. So what you do is you go into meditation and you follow your intuition to find inner peace and balance alone or with a partner. You've been doing it alone for a while. Now you you're ready to have a partner so you're being strategic Capricorn you have a game plan that you implement daily okay routines that support your goals and you are clear to the universe and to yourself and to this other new person who you met about your desires okay you are Telling this person exactly how you feel and what you want from them, okay? You already know what you need. You already know what you need to be satisfied from somebody. You are not going to enter into another relationship where you are not going to be satisfied and just getting strongly seduced by somebody who is not doing what needs to be done to awaken you, Cappy, okay? And you are telling this new person that. And this new person understands what it is that you're saying, baby. 
They understand that because this person that you're dealing with is a freak, Capricorn. They are a freak. They know exactly what to do to awaken every last single inch of you, okay? And that's exactly what they do, baby. That's exactly what they do, Capricorn. And you're leaving your person behind for this person, okay? Mm. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that we're talking about here. Could also be a uh, uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini. All right, Cappy. And this has been your reading, love. If it resonated with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know, and I will be uploading new messages for you, Cappy. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about it, baby. I'm just gonna get you next time, okay? Uh, Capricorn, if you would like a, a, a personal reading, then the way to contact me will be in the description box below through WhatsApp and uh, Facebook Messenger. Uh, also, if you want to donate to my channel, I certainly will appreciate your donations, Capricorn. Uh, the way to donate to my channel is in the description box below as well, baby. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, until next time, peace, love, and light, doll. Hold up.